they're easy to spot. Wyoming has its share of wind. Massive windmills all across our region, they've become a critical energy resource. But these massive structures don't last forever. The life expectancy on the majority of the blades is a 20 to 30 year lifespan. When the fiberglass blades, typically over 170 feet long, wear out, there's really not anywhere to put them. When we drafted the bill, there were 72,000 blades laying on the ground nationwide. We looked at where do we have space to put that kind of volume. It's an issue Wyoming first pitched in 2020. It occurred to us that the mines would be an option for that because of the size and scale of Wyoming's coal mines and the size of our pits. Rather than just letting the blades take up landfill space, since fiberglass is very hard to recycle, the state pushed for putting them underground in old coal mine pits. Kyle Whitland with Fossil Fuel Development says it helps solve a few things, chief among them, money. It creates a revenue stream when the mines hit their last pit or their final pit voids, and they're not mining and creating revenue off of coal anymore. When the new rule goes into effect next month, mines will be able to charge for blade drop-off, meaning revenue is still coming in even though production is paused. 25% of those charges will go to the state. It also adds some additional fill in those final pits to help fill them a little quicker. It also helps coal mines find an economic purpose key to reclamation laws. And when the day comes that these blades are recyclable, they'll be easy to find. It was a really good kind of novel solution. A solution that's ahead of its time. Wyoming is the first state to pass a bill allowing this, but could be an example for neighboring states like Montana. The original bill passed both the House and the Senate with broad support, wide margins. So, you know, we're really looking forward to moving this particular program forward now. In Wyoming, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.